Hello there, I'd like to speak to you very briefly today about the Gospel. Now I'm sure if you're listening to these recordings, then you'll be very familiar with the word and perhaps even a Gospel Hall in your locality. But what is the Gospel and what is it all about? Well, when the Lord Jesus rose from the dead, after his resurrection, he gathered his disciples together just before his ascension, and he said this, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation, to every person in the world. No restrictions, nothing selective. They had to preach that message. That was their commission. And that's what we're trying to do is maintain that commission to preach the gospel. Now, what is the gospel all about? Well, the Apostle Paul, the great apostle himself, uh, in 1 Corinthians 15, was able to say to Christians, Now I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel. I pre The gospel that I preached to you, which you received, in which you, in which you stand, and by which you are being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you. Now, that was the gospel that the apostle, the great apostle, was speaking about. He was telling us, and it mentions three things. He said that he preached it, so that was his responsibility that the Lord Jesus asked him to do, to preach it. He says, I preach it to you in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 1, and it says, which you received. Now, there's a responsibility to preach it, but there's also a responsibility on the hearer to receive it. And the third thing that it mentions there in verse 1 is in which you stand. In other words, we don't just receive it as a notion and then it just passes over us and we forget about it. It's something that we've got to hold fast to, in which ye stand, and by which you are being saved. You know, you've heard the word being saved. Saved from what? Saved from judgment, God's judgment that is upon all mankind. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, the gospel is a New Testament thing, but it's been foretold in the Old Testament. You know, you just go back hundreds of years, away back to Isaiah 53, verses 4 to 6, which says this, Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we have been healed. You know, that's the message that comes from Old Testament prophetic words, hundreds of years before the word gospel appeared in our Bibles in the New Testament, before the Lord Jesus was born. Then the words was there that amply describes the perfect servant, the Lord Jesus, who came into the world, who has borne our griefs. It was our sins he took, not his own, for he had none, but he was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities. Why does this happen? Well, the Bible tells us in verse 6, All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Can you imagine it? We who were the guilty sinners, we who were the wrongdoers, right from creation's garden of Eden, and there by one man sin entered into the world and death came in as a, con a consequence of sin, and all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But even although all have sinned, the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So why did he die? Well, Romans 3 and verse 23 says this, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible teaches we are all guilty before God and we've all sinned and we've all fallen short of God's standard. You know, there's a consequence for sin, a very serious consequence for sin. So Romans 6 and 23 tells us, 
for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now there are terms there that we all understand. We all appreciate and understand wages, something that we earn, something that we deserve, and the wages of sin is death. That is the penalty for us being sinners, born in sin, shapen in iniquity, but the gift of God. Notice the difference. A wage is something that you're entitled to, but a gift is not necessarily so. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It was his love that motivated him to do it, because you might ask the question, why then did he do it? If the sins were not his but ours, why did he take that on himself? Well, John 3.16 tells us, as we often quote, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Yes, it was God's love that motivated him to come into the world. First John 4 verse 9 and 10 says this, In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. And verse 10 says, Herein is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us, us and sent his Son to be the propitiation or the mercy seat or the sacrifice for our sins. That his love brought him into this world willingly. And we all are familiar with the Christmas story. We all know that goodwill was brought towards men and here was peace on earth, but only if we confess our sin, only if we forsake our sin, only if we plead forgiveness for our sin, can we have everlasting, eternal life. The message is simple, the message is plain, and it's entirely clear that if we confess that we are guilty sinners and turn to him and acknowledge that we are such, he will receive us, he will save us, and he will give to us the gift of eternal life for all eternity. I wonder, will you put your faith and trust in him? Not in a religion, not in any world leaders or any other being, but the only person, there is none other name under heaven given amongst men, whereby we must be saved. For at the name of Jesus, one day every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that he is Lord to the glory of God the Father. May you find him as your own Saviour. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is God's day of salvation. Thank you.